you on six simple tips on how to look great in the photo shoots. Then continue watching and I'll give you some ideas. Tip number one. If it's a couple's photo shoot or even a family photography session, where possible, wear coordinating outfits. And by coordinating, I don't mean matching. You don't all have to wear the same colour, the same pattern or indeed the same style. But what you can do is you can look to wear items of clothing which have a similar pattern to them or perhaps are part of the same colour palette. So if you've got children attending your photo shoot with you, perhaps they've got a similar colour dress to what you are wearing. Or if there are male members of your family or perhaps your partner, you may wish for them to wear a specific colour jumper to which you have a lighter shade of a dress or a top that you would prefer to wear. So that would be my tip. Tip number two. When it comes to autumn and winter, we know what it can be like. It could be freezing and it could be super cold. So my recommendation is to wear layers. If you've ever been skiing before, you know how important it is to make sure you wear layers because sometimes it'll be warmer down at the bottom of the slopes than at the top. And at the end of the day, you don't want to get too hot or too cold. So wearing layers is key. It also helps in photo shoots or photography sessions because it gives you an opportunity to change up your style a little bit. So if you do have a jacket and you do have a scarf that you want to wear, then make sure you bring them along with you. If you want to wear them at the beginning of that photography session, but if it starts to get too warm, take them off and you can change up your look. Tip number three, ladies and gents if you wear makeup, keep it light. At the end of the day, we are meant to be photographing your natural state. And if you go all out on your eyeliner, go for really bold eyes, or perhaps have some bright colour lipstick, it makes it a little bit more difficult for us because people's attention will be looking straight towards those features. So where possible, keep it natural and even bring some makeup with you if you've got space available in your bag. And by that I may mean a bit of foundation, some concealer and perhaps a little bit of blusher. Obviously, if you have discussed this with your photographer and you are going for a really wild and arty look, then bring the different styles and that different makeup with you. Mm. Tip number four. If you can, stick to plain or subtly patterned clothing. Don't go all out on those boldly patterned items where the colour is so bright that you need sunglasses to be able to see properly. At the end of the day, again, we are focusing and photographing you. So we don't want to find that the viewer's attention is taken away from your beauty and instead they're looking at what you're wearing. Obviously, again, as per point number three, if your photographer has suggested to bring some bold items of clothing or a specific style of outfit, and make sure you bring it along with you. Tip number five. If your photographer allows, bring some other outfits. You may find that your photography session allows you to change up on your outfits perhaps once or twice in your particular session. In which case, bring a small holder or a small handbag just to put those clothes in. What we don't say is bring a suitcase full of clothes. We don't need to have a whole wardrobe full of items for you to choose from. Just pick out your favourite few. Tip number six. For those who of us who are lucky to have some longer hair or perhaps shoulder length hair, it's great to have your hair down, especially in the summer. However, just be wary that sometimes it's worthwhile bringing a hair bubble or a hair tie and some pins as well, just to pull that hair back if it starts to get a little bit windy. Additionally, I always recommend starting off a photography session with your hair let down. At the end of the day, when you get halfway through that photo shoot, you again can change up your hairstyle, change up your look with just a simple plait, a half updo, or perhaps even a ponytail. It's easy. If you want more information or some inspiration about what to wear, feel free to go and take a look at my website I've got some ideas, some examples of some photo shoots that I've done and it just shows how easy it is to make your style so simple yet so effective. If you've got some questions that you want me to answer, place them in the comments box below. Thanks for watching.